it's Friday, and uh, it's time for our last vlog of the week. Um, it's been a great week. I'm really, uh, you know, it's the last vlog. We should do better than this. <gasps> Welcome to the vlog! Woo! <gasps> Woo! That was a little much. Let's, uh, let's simmer down and get to the vlog. So today we're focusing on the Pathfinders track and it's our newest and youngest track here at Confirmation Camp. We're going to speak with Lauren and see what the Pathfinders are up to today. Let's go. Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm the uh, track chair for the Pathfinders track here at Confirmation Camp, which is actually our youngest track that we offer here. It's our seventh grade track. And we've only been offering it for three years. This is our third year of Pathfinders. We're testing out the waters to see how it goes with the, the younger kids. Um, and, and our track is all about, we call ourselves the Pathfinders for a reason. So it's a lot about focusing on the journey that is, you know, going through our experience here at camp, but also in our faith journey uh, as young Christians in our Christian community. So uh, we, as a staff, try to help the kiddos kind of find their way along this path and kind of start their path. So we talk a lot about what have been their steps so far on their path. Um, and today actually towards the end of the week here at camp we are planting a tree so we are making kind of a literal footprint on the path here at camp. Um, so we're I'm looking over there because that's what they're doing right now. I'm keeping an eye on them. Um, so we are literally marking our place here at Confirmation Camp for years and years to come. Hi, I'm Emma Johns. I'm an MVC. The thing I'm going to miss most about camp is the friendships and the fun memories that we make here at camp. There's all the amazing people here and the overall experience. There's the amazing people here and all my friends and pretty much the whole experience. <laughs> Hi, my name is Maggie. I'm a GGP and I think I'm going to miss my cabin most and my counselor, Zoe Clark. Love you, Zoe. Hi, I'm Alyssa Breal, I'm an MBC, and the thing I'm going to miss most about camp is my friend Emma. <laughs> I think I'm going to miss all the really nice people at camp. Camp is probably all the, all the friends I made here. What I'm going to miss about confirmation camp the most is worship, campfire, food, friends, and food. Hi Cindy. We are at one of my favorite places at camp. Can you tell us where that is? The labyrinth. And I hear you know the official story of the labyrinth. Can you tell us that? I do, I do. It was um, my um, beginning days at seminary and our first um, field education experience in seminary is called Teaching Parish and I was assigned to Zion Pembroke where um, I was in a Sunday school class and they were talking about creating this prayer path around Harrisburg um, for people who were walking this green belt um, walk that they were helping to develop and they called this thing a labyrinth. And I only known as labyrinths as mazes, so I was really interested. And so they started talking about this prayer path. And at the time I was chair of GGPs, I knew we were going to have like 60 or more youth that summer. And we always like to do a project for GGPs, God's gifted people, to help them uh, see the gifts of others working together to create something. And I thought, wow, a prayer path. I love Kanawakwa. And I thought, prayer path would be a really cool thing for the youth to do. So I talked to the staff at Walkwell. They were on board. They brought me out into the woods. We found a place. Only had to cut down one tree because that was really important to me. And we um, 
decided to do it. We went to the quarry, bought some stone, and the kids were awesome. They worked together, and they built this path that's behind me. I just really feel that that was a time in my life where I really knew what God wanted me to do. I had never heard of a labyrinth. I had never walked a labyrinth. Um, I prayed, naturally, but had never walked this labyrinth or any labyrinth um, before we built it. So it was a very meaningful experience for me. And now we own the labyrinth, so to speak. We take care of it. We maintain it every year with our God's gifted people youth. And this year we refurbished it with some fresh stones. So that's the story. It was a really big God moment in my life. So, Thank yeah. you so much, Cindy. You're welcome. Being a saint to me means spreading God's love and serving Him all around the world. To me, being a saint means using God's gifts to spread His word and be an evangelist. Going to church and loving God. Following the Ten Commandments as best as you possibly can. To me, being a saint is someone who's part of God's kingdom, whether they're currently in heaven or on the earth, and they're just living God's will. My name is Bennett Williams. Since it started in 1972, so that's 45 years, I think, something like that. You get a wider range of teachers. You get pastors, lay people, youth directors. You get diaconal ministers teaching the Lutheran faith from their perspective so it's just not one per perspective so they come away with a wealth of knowledge about their baptism about gifts so it's the for me it's really the intellectual quality that they're gonna get from this staff this staff is diverse and very well studied in the ways of Lutheranism the Bible and Jesus love and the other thing would be the community I've never seen a kid not accepted up here Every, every youth is accepted and we find their gift and we exploit it and they come back feeling so good about themselves so the Holy Spirit moves through this camp and brings out every person's gift including the staff's gifts and they see that and they're empowered and they want to go back to their families, their congregations, their sport teams and they want to share that gift and that's why I think parents of all the sport camps, dance camps, uh, band camps I don't care what camp, my first choice would always be, and was for my, my two boys, confirmation camp came first and then everything else came second. That's why I think you should be sending your youth to Harrisburg area confirmation camp. My favorite part about camp is worship. Uh, I get the privilege of sitting in the band and looking out and to see them just arms around each other swaying, singing the songs, they're not looking at the paper, they know the songs, they know the motions, they're just a sea of wonderful humanity praising God and worshiping God. That is my favorite part in camp when they're all singing 
The band is playing lightly, and they're one in the spirit. That's my favorite part.